in one study, and we asked participants not to eat four hours before they came to the study. And when they came in, so they were divided into two groups. For one group, we fit them at the beginning of the session by giving them a blind taste test, and they ate some cakes. And in the other condition, they were still hungry when they take part in the main task, which is about their attitudes towards binder clips. We offer them a sample of a store brand binder clip to examine, and we offer the possibility of giving them some free samples for trials. They indicate any number they want to get, and they really get them at the end of the session. Interestingly, for those people who are hungry, and after examining the binder clips, they wanted to get more of these free samples. However, after eating, they, acquired, they indicated they want to get less. And we also run studies in the mall, and we took participants like shopping receipts and see what they purchased. And we correlate that with their self-reported hunger. We found that for those hungrier participants who are they're actually shoppers, they spend more money and purchased a greater number of non-food items than those less hungry uh, shoppers did. The hunger makes us think about seeking, acquiring, and consuming food. Actually, thoughts about acquisition can spill over and put us in the mode of getting stuff. Therefore, this acquisition-related thoughts actually drive us to buy non-food stuff that cannot satisfy hunger. As a consumer researcher, I care about consumers' well-being. And for consumers, sometimes like we skip meals, and we can go shopping anytime, like go to the mall, it's very convenient, and go to Amazon, it's just a click on, like enter, and we get onto Amazon website. And in these kind of situations, if you go for a shopping trip with an empty stomach, you may spend more money and buy more stuff than otherwise. So it would be nice to make consumers aware of the possibility that they may spend more with an empty stomach when they shop. So why not just feed yourself before going for a shopping trip? Or alternatively, if you are hungry and you have to make purchasing decisions, think twice about what you are going to buy.